gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. It will not resonate with each and every star, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading doesn't resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be reversed or interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another reading or when I go live. This is going to be your April 2022 love reading. So we're going to look at the month on a whole and see what you guys got going on in the month of April. So let's see. What's the energy coming in towards Aquarius the first half of the month, the second half of the month, and the last half of the month? What's the energy here for Aquarius? Show me the first half of the month for Aquarius in love. Protect us as we go into the divination of tarot. Ooh, we got the emperor. So for some of you, this could be about connecting with an older man. This could even be about stability for some of you in a situation. This energy is about someone who is very protective, who brings authority to a situation. This is your emperor, your king. And I'm loving this energy. It could be for some of you meeting your emperor. For some of you, you already are encountering this experience with your emperor or your king. And take it as it resonates, guys, your woman, your empress. But at the end of the day, it's definitely an energy about empowerment or someone with protective energy or someone here who could be a father figure or someone wanting to take action in a situation. So let's let's dive a little bit deeper. Show me the second half of the month for Aquarius. All right. Thank you. We got one wanting to flip. Ooh. Okay, so we have the temperance card, guys. This energy is about balance in a situation or connection. So it's telling me that the second half of the month, there's going to be balance here in a relationship or connection. And I love this because this is two major arcana. So it could be an Aries or a Sagittarius. But the energy is about providing balance in a situation. Maybe there was an imbalance before, or it could just be balance on a whole in your life, like balance is being brought to your life now with this connection with this person so let's see give me one more thank you Ooh, the last half of the month is the seven of cups so this is about a lot of opportunities a lot of options may even be illusions brought to the situation because it's telling me here there may be some decisions that needs to be made here you may need to take a step back and just you know look at it from a different perspective or a different angle before you make a solid decision because there's a lot of moving pieces that may be taking place here for you in the month of april with this connection okay maybe you may be all in your head here with this connection with this person but overall i love it because it's telling me there's feelings there the cup family is all about feelings so you may be feeling a little bit confused or maybe feeling like you don't know what to choose the bottom of the deck was the just breathe card so that's why i said maybe you may feel feel like you need to take a step back all right and maybe analyze everything that's happening or maybe you may be feeling like everything's happening so fast that you can't believe that this is really happening to you so let's dive a little bit deeper into this energy guys because i'm loving how this reading is starting off what's the energy here for aquarius in the month of april 2022 What's the energy here for the collective in April for 2022? Let me get a couple good shuffles before we start the reading. Or go in depth into the reading. Let's see. All right, this feels right. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups, the King of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Sun card, the King of Wands with the World card. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands and it's paired with, guys, the Ace of Cups. So the overall energy of this reading for the month of April, this is about 
connecting with someone that you truly care about, connecting with someone that makes you completely happy. I love the four of wands being here because it's an energy of like stability or an energy of home, the home front. So this could be someone that you see marriage with. This could be someone that you see longevity with. This is someone that you connect with in a way that they are they are in alignment with how you love. So they understand your love language at the end of the day. So I'm loving that this is going to be a new relationship or a new connection with someone that you see blossoming into something worth taking to the next level. For some of you, you could be reconnecting with someone of such sort. All right. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this reading. So we we have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles for the first half of the month. I truly believe that for some of you here, you're walking away from something that was very emotional for you or hard to let go of. But I feel like this person that's entering your life or that's in your life currently is bringing a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. And I feel like it's breaking down barriers for you, for some of you here. This Four of Pentacles energy is about being guarded or being protective of your heart. But it's also an energy that speaks of stability. So the Four of Pentacles also represents a desire for some type of long-term security or maybe even having a little bit of fear of change in your life. So I feel Feel like something is taking place surrounding this emperor energy as far as being open to this new experience that's presenting itself here knight of wands is all about passionate passionate connections action you know something moving in towards you that's bringing this new energetic excitement into your life and it's coming in after leaving something here behind that you were really passionate about before and i do believe you may be still may be still a little guarded by whatever experiences that you've had but it's telling me here as well that you are open or you have a desire for long-term security here in this situation now moving into the second half of the month you have the nine of cups the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles i love this because what it's telling me here, didn't we say that the middle of the month was all about balance and it's also too about, you know, a resolution in a situation for some of you here. It could be conflict or whatever the case may be, but it also represents harmonious relationships or soulmate kind of energy. So I do believe that there's something here coming in your way. It could be something that you wish for, hope for, manifested in your life, but it's telling me your wishes and your hopes and your dreams, your desires for this love and this connection is coming together. I love the King of Pentacles being smack in the middle because it's representing stability someone who's solid this person that you're encountering is someone who represents stability so they could have a very good job um maybe a very good very good career a businessman a businesswoman take it as it resonates for your situation but it's someone here that is bringing stability support consistency a hard worker someone who is a provider at the end of the day you know may not be as emotional as you want them to be but this is someone here who's bringing you something solid to the table they're bringing you this ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles is a new beginning in relationships Relationships that brings stability, something strong, something stable. And I do believe this is a new beginning for a lot of you here. Now we have the ending of the month is the sun, the king of wands, and the world card. I'm seeing success. Okay, I'm seeing success, but I'm also seeing opportunities. I'm seeing the king of pentacles, and then we got the king of wands. So there could be, there could be multiple options here for some of you here and that's how it works sometimes it's like okay you could be looking for love looking for love looking for love love and nothing comes you know but then when love hits you all of a sudden you have a plethora of options so i'm seeing options coming in here towards you and it's about making the right decision and i feel like that's why the seven of cups is coming into play because what it's telling me here is that you may have several people or two people that's wanting to show you affection or show you love that is interested in you at the end of the day because we got the king of wands this is someone here who is very structured in a way very confident energetic type of energy this is someone here who's a risk taker passionate motivated but maybe someone who has a strong ego here at the end of the day you know who, who's very proud is what i feel the sun card showing up here is telling me that 
this is making you very, very happy. The world card showing up here, this is an energy of success. You're closing out a cycle in a situation and you're moving on to better, bigger and better things here, especially surrounding love. So let's dive a little bit deeper, guys. Let's see what's going on because I'm loving this energy for April. So it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, so let's see. All right, show me the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? All right, I think we had something flip. Let's see what that is. Or that could have been my imagination. It looked like something wanted to flip. Show me the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Thank you. All right, so we have the star card representing the Knight of Wands. So I love this energy because it's telling me here, Aquarius, that someone's coming in towards you. We have the Knight of Swords. This energy speaks of a change in lifestyle. Things happen in fast, rushing into things. So I feel like there's an energy surrounding you here in the first half of the month that there's some changes that's taken place in your life after walking away from something. And I do believe that there's this is something that you could have hope for, wish for, or manifested. The star energy is about guidance, spiritual guidance. So I do believe someone's guiding you into this new, exciting, new adventure that's going to take place in your life. All right. Show me the um, four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles showing up? Show me the four of pentacles. Actually, okay. Thank you. All right. So we have the knight of cups. Okay. Like I said, very guarded energy. Okay. So you're getting an offer here. Okay. The first half of the month or someone's presenting you with a love offer, but at the end of the day, you still may be a little bit guarded. You have the hermit at the bottom of the deck, which speaks of contemplation. So it's almost like you're not sure if you want to move forward in the situation and it may be due or stemming from past experiences because this eight of cups like i said is an emotional energy that is letting you know you're walking away from something that was very emotional for you or hard to detach yourself from but this hermit energy is telling me that you are now contemplating a situation if you should move forward with it the hermit energy showing up it could also be a virgo the star energy is aquarius energy which i believe is yours show me the king of pentacles why is the king of pentacles showing up Thank you. All right. So we have the eight of wands. So I believe this is communication coming in for you for this king of pentacles. All right. This is someone here who is wanting to get to know you better. It could even mean this person's wanting to travel towards you here is what it's telling me. But there's things happening and moving fast, especially surrounding communication in the situation. Show me the ace of pentacles. Thank you. All right. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So again, this is an opportunity for someone here to meet the person of their life. To have the Queen of Pentacles show up on the same row as the King of Pentacles is telling me this is someone here who is your companion in life, who matches your energy. We also have the King of Swords, which is showing your energy here as well. So I tr strongly believe there's a new beginning in love. Someone here that you may be compatible with on many different levels. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very resourceful, someone here who is very nurturing. The King of Swords can be a very structured type of person, okay, which is kind of like an equation. Aquarius, okay, very structured type of energy, someone here who could be very aloof or detached in the situation, but it's telling me here that it's, it's all coming together between you and this person with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, someone here who could be your soulmate or your match in life at the end of the day. Show me the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands showing up? What's the King of Wands? Thank you. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and we had something fall on the floor, guys. Let me grab that. Let's see what this is. The nine of pentacles with the... All right, so we had the seven of swords, but the seven of swords came back, came out in the reverse. All right, so what I'm seeing here, and then we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So I wanna show you guys that as well. So what I feel is this king of wands who's coming in towards you, this could be an ex. This could be someone from your past, okay? Because what it's telling me here, I feel like this is two different people, but the King of Wands energy is someone here who may have done you wrong in the past, who's now seeking some type of forgiveness because now they're looking at you in a light as someone here who is very structured, who brings stability to a situation. You could be single, ready to mingle, but you're looking good. You're looking fabulous, okay? So now someone is wanting to come in here towards you with some type of apology of some sort. But just be careful, okay? Because the magician, 
Magician can represent communication, but it also can represent trickery. All right. So I do believe this, whoever this King of Wands energy is, it's representing someone here who wants to right some type of wrongs with you is what I feel. All right. Show me the world card. Why is the world card showing up? Thank you. All right. So we got the Queen of Wands with the world card. I strongly believe here. Okay. Because we have the Queen of Wands showing up on the same row with the world card this person could also be your soulmate as well all right but i feel like there's a cycle here that may be needing to complete between you and this person it could even represent a new start of a cycle but something to do with something here needing to be addressed the tower card is about unexpected changes taking place which could present a tower moment for you which could make you feel somewhat confused as far as what is it that you want to do when it comes to this king of wands energy so i'm loving this guys it's definitely a beautiful reading as far as having a lot of alternatives or a lot of options here in the month of of April so let's get some more cards to channel the energy what's the energy here what's the energy of the reading thank you all right so we have attraction so it's telling me here you're, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so there's a lot of attraction here between you and this person that you're meeting in April or that you are currently in but it is progressing in a direction of actually falling in love with this person and I truly believe that this attraction is leading to a more deeper kind of love between you and this person but someone else is coming into the picture as well because I feel like with the card being at the bottom of the deck of the romantic feelings it says your feelings are real and worth exploring so it's definitely about you opening up and exploring these feelings that you have for this person that you are going to be connecting with. The next card is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So there's gonna be an opportunity for some of you here to release someone from your past is what I feel, okay? So let's get some more messages for you guys before we close out. And thank you guys so much for being patient with me. For those of you who are still rocking with me, even though I had a little bit of a break, but I love you guys to the moon and back. And yes, your girl is back, okay? Let's see, I'm about to tap, tap, tap in. Let's see, what's the energy here for Aquarius? Thank you. All right, so we have regret. So there could be someone here that's coming towards you to, towards the end of the month that's having some type of regret or feeling like they lost out on a great opportunity here with you, coming in with some type of apology. And this is after you found someone, of course. Yep, look at that. Look what fell on the floor, guys or on the table, I'm sorry, masculine. So this is telling me your divine masculine is seeking you, your soulmate. So there's someone coming in towards you and they're coming in heavy with very heavy energy. We have split energy that's showing up here at the bottom. It says options, unfocused, multitasking, decide what you really want. And didn't I say that? You're going to be stuck in a situation where you're going to feel like you need to make a decision. You don't know which way to go, which way to turn when it comes to how you felt about the past person and how you feel about this new person that's coming in towards you. There's a lot of um, undecided energy that's coming through. All right, we got another card that's wanting to come out here. We have sacred journey and transformation. And then bottom of the deck is soulmate. So it says, understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. And then we have trans transformation, which says breakthrough reinvention. You're ready for the next level so for some of you here you've been on a journey for quite some time and for some of you that journey looked like being alone being single going through a transition in your life where you're self-discovering yourself and being more open to spirituality and growth within oneself but this is bringing you to a point now where you are ready you're ready for the next level you're ready for love you're ready to meet your soulmate and that's what is taking place here for you where you're going to encounter this beautiful new beginning with someone but the question is is that will you be ready at the end of the day when this takes place and will you make the right decision whether you choose to stay in this beautiful new beginning that is presenting itself to you that the universe is presenting itself to you or are you going to take a step back and go back towards this person who's now wanting to apologize and maybe realizing what they had all along all right let's go ahead and close out with some overall advice What's the advice you have for Aquarius? What's the advice you have for Aquarius? Thank you. All right. We have release your guilt. guilt, And we have you've earned your stripes. 
bottom of the deck was throne your potential is limitless so i do believe that this is a time for some of you to release things that you are holding on to releasing your attachment to people especially people that is not serving your best or your highest good here with release your guilt so for some of you you're facing some truths here in a love connection that you're deciding you know what now may be a time to burn this chapter in my life and actually be happy and move forward we also have here lioness you've earned your stripes so it's telling you here that you've been through everything that you've been through but that does not have to be your story remember you're the narrator or the ceo of your life so you can create whatever it is that you want your reality to be but just because you've been through some things doesn't mean that has to be your story last but not least is throne okay it says your potential is endless so i strongly believe that for some of you here this is about you recognizing that there's better things on the horizon but you just have to be open to it at the end of the day all right guys i love you to the moon and back i hope you enjoyed this reading if you want to book a personal reading with me you can visit my website www.goddessofwhispers.com or you could check out the description box below love you guys to the moon and back bye Mwah. I guess you're back Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply